day two science experiments for Zoomerang. Uh, the first one we're going to look at is called Making Sense of Senses. This gives the kids an idea of how their brain uh, is able to sense different objects, whether by touch or smell or, you know, you can even talk about sight and hearing and we're going to do a little taste. <laughs> Um, so the pre-prep that I did for this one, or that you should do for this one, is you want to have four of these small condiment cups. Two of them, the lids are going to have labeled one and two. The other two don't need to be labeled. Um, you're also going to cut several, I have some examples here of some cloth, different types of cloth with different textures. You're going to cut and put two of each particular texture into a bag that they cannot see into. Um, and they're going to, uh, we'll talk about that in just a minute, they're going to match with that. Now, in these cups, the two that are not labeled both have a dark colored substance in them. One of them is coffee grinds, the other one is vanilla. Um, a little tip, when I did the vanilla, what I did was I poured some vanilla just into a bowl and then I used a syringe. You can just get them from the pharmacy. You can order them if you, if you can't get one from your pharmacist. Um, and I just literally put a couple of drops of vanilla into the cup. Now, I will warn you on this as we found out the hard way. If you do this more than a few days in advance, <laughs> the water that is in the vanilla is going to evaporate and it's not going to work. So we wound up having to go back and refill all of our vanilla cups. Now, if you can see in here, you're not going to need very much at all. In fact, you don't want much at all in any of these cups, okay? Uh, the reason is, is in a little bit, we're going to have the children taste this, and we don't want anyone taking a big taste of the vanilla. Okay, so we're going to start out uh, the kids are going to start out looking um, at these two materials. They're going to notice that one is a liquid, one is a solid. When they take their lids off, we're going to ask them to smell and see if they can identify them by smell. Okay, then they're going to go to their number one and number two and try to tell me which material is in which cup. Okay, some are going to say salt, some are going to say sugar. And then you say, well, which one is which? And, um, you know, some kids are fairly certain. There are dif different grinds of the uh, salt and sugar that you can get. You can get them to look very close if you wanted to worry about that, but I just used whatever I had. Um, so we had them taste just a little tiny bit, um, and that verified for them that number one indeed was salt, number two was sugar. Again, don't give them much in here. We don't need kids running around in a huge sugar buzz all day. <laughs> then go back here and ask them how they thought that vanilla smelled. And most of them are going to say that it smelled pretty good. Some of them have tasted vanilla when mom was baking cookies, but they're in for a shock if they've never tasted it. We ask them to take just a little taste, and they're going to see that their senses of smell and their sense of taste do not agree with each other on this one. Okay, in your little bag then, we're going to have them reach in, pull out one of those fabrics. Oh, I got a whole bunch. Pull out one piece of fabric, and then go back in, knowing what that one felt like, and try to find its match. Okay, and say if they pull out the wrong one, then just have it put them back until they can find the proper one. And if you have a lot of time left over, they can even try matching all of them that are in there if you want them to. Okay, so that is making sense of senses. The second experiment on day two is called pick your brain. Okay, this one really doesn't need much, expl much explanation on how to prep it. You simply want to take some tofu and cut it into about one inch squares and put a square into each of these little cups and give the kids each a cup. If you didn't have many kids, you could just put the whole block of tofu onto a plate in the middle and just let them feel it that way. But you want to make sure that you used soft silken tofu. 
because neurologists, neurosurgeons, doctors in general, many of them say that the closest thing that they have found that feels like brain matter is soft silken tofu. So the kids get to actually feel what their brain would feel like. And it also reminds them, or we remind them, of how God gave us such a protective mechanism around that brain with our skull to keep it safe. And that's day two of Zoomerang. <laughs>